Well, I've changed around a little bit because now I am looking super pretty with gorgeous pearls on. And you can find this pearl collection at Carrots located in Vail. The owner of Carrots is Dan Talene and Good he morning. brings in Koji Kawamoto every year, multiple times a year to highlight your pearls. Hi guys. Good morning. Yes. Yeah, did good did morning. everybody, was everybody seeing pink in Vail yesterday? Did you sell some pink pearls? I I had lot I have lots of pink pearls and mm -hmm. lots of people came to look at pink pearls. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And wear pink. Everybody was wearing pink. Everybody was yeah. wearing pink. I know. Your eyes were like, wait a second, did I get sunburned today or is it pink out here? Now yes. Koji, you come from Japan and pearls are your specialty. Yes. And, and look at here we are looking at some beautiful are those the pink pearls you were just talking about? Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. And uh, this particular pink pearls are coming out of a uh, freshwater lake. And uh, this one is out of uh, the clam or mussels. And, uh, and also Japanese aqua pearls, mm -hmm. okay? The body color is white, but pinkish overtone. Okay. Right, that is also pink. Pink, that's right. Yes. Now, Dan, you mm -hmm. say when, when people come into your shop and Koji has all his pearls out there, Koji can really kind of place a pearl with a person. How yeah. does he do that? And it must be kind of magical to watch. He's better at it than I am. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's, um, well, we always say it's about the atmosphere. And um, some people just uh, having a pearl that's not round, you know, some crazy shape fits the atmosphere of some people yeah and then other people classic. it's very formal and mm -hmm. classic so choosing the right pearl to match the skin to match the teeth and the eye color and and the whites of the eyes you know it all comes together to make something that complements the person something that feels good yeah. and just makes you look more pretty in your daily day -to -day it's amazing basis. one strand will be okay nice yeah. and then one just lights up it just, just lights is, your face yeah. up doesn't yeah. it yeah. yeah now koji you were telling me that um a lot of people think okay i'm not going to go buy pearls because it's the end of the season and i don't have any money and this and that <laughs> but you have you have some good deals going on right now this is the last day you're going to be at carrots for this time that yes. you're here Yes, so what kind of deals? Right. How, how are you giving away these pearls? Oh, well, I mean, I have so many show specials mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the price point starts from $100. Ooh. Yeah, and uh, the quality is there. Mm -hmm. The beautiful things at the really good, reasonable price. Well, look point. at these beautiful pearls. And Dan, when you're talking about mm -hmm. pearls that are not just your round shape, I mean, geez, you got a Ooh. lot of not round pearls yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. That's Kishi. The big white ones? Uh, no, no, the little black ones. Oh, yeah. okay. Those are Gray. neat. Yeah. yeah. Kashi is accidental. They're, they're not natural pearls because mm -hmm. they're part of the cultured industry. Okay. Uh, they're being farmed. But they weren't planned. They just are, appear in the body of the animal and and they're used, but you can't call them natural, so we call them Kashi. Kashi. Oh, okay. Yeah. That means like a farmed pearl. And or speaking yeah. of farms, okay. I want to talk about how green the pearl industry is, how yes, important it is that mm -hmm. uh, the animals are healthy and that means healthy water. Mm -hmm. And all along the coastline in the countries that are, are raising pearls, how it, it's really, really important to the, the industry that everything is done properly and there aren't poisons in the water because mm -hmm. it affect the quality of the pearl. Now how long does it take to cultivate a pearl? Usually two to three years. So this is yeah. a long process yes. mm -hmm. of people that are really taking care of the waters and taking care of these animals that yeah, are doing this. Yeah. Does an oyster or a clam produce a pearl and then they're done or do they continue to produce them? Yeah, if uh, some oysters, okay, made a uh, beautiful quality pearls, so we use them again. Okay. For the second operation, and we do third operation and the fourth operation oh, wow. as the oyster keep growing like this. And we can, you know, those bigger oysters can make bigger pearls. Oh, that's, what I that's yeah. how that yeah. happens. I always learn so much about pearls when you come in. Now yes. here we are looking at the different colors. Are these also cultivated or are we going to see different colors in just the wild caught um, pearls? The wild caught like Oh, they're not wild caught. No. They're, they're, they're all farmed. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. all farmed for Ooh, all different yeah, yeah. colors mm -hmm. and all different shapes. Yeah. Okay. Well, any animal that makes its own shell mm -hmm. can make a pearl. Okay. And you know when you walk on the beach and you see all the different shells, mm -hmm. All oh, those colors, they could be pearls. So yeah. any animal, but some animals are easier to farm and um, uh, produce better pearls. 
And so those are the ones that the farmers are, are cultivating and, and making pearls happen. And where does this cultivation happen? What countries is this oh, really all happening? All over the world. Australia. Yeah, okay. Australia Japan, yeah. Australia, the Philippines, Indonesia, all of our friends, Polynesia, and China. And do you travel the world to find all these pearls? I do. You do. Yes. That must be fun. Yeah. And then you come here to Vail. Yes. Have you been skiing at all? No. No, you're just working, huh? No, hopefully this afternoon. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. good, good. Get out in there and get some yeah. of this lush. It's the, almost the end of the season. And it's the almost the end of the time that Koji's going to be at Carrots. They are located on West Meadow Drive. You can find them in Vail. So make sure you head on over. They open the store at 10 o'clock, and they'll be there all day long. And really, the shop is transparent transformed into a beautiful spot with pearls. You think these are so a lot of pearls? Wait till you head yeah, to Carrots right. later on mm -hmm. this afternoon. You're going to yes. see quite a bit. Koji, always a pleasure. Dan, always nice to have you in here. Carrots is a wonderful jewelry store and you can find them in Vail. Right now though, we're going to head out to the TVA back deck. Mark Sassy is going to tell us all he knows about pearls.